So when I film almost all my videos are filmed with action cameras. And the action camera I used to film with is this one right here. The GoPro Hero 7 Wide. And there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't stabilize the video that well. And I lost it. So then I tried filming a video with the session. And while there's nothing really wrong with that. Film's really good. And it's actually really nice. It does have audio problems. And I eventually got tired of looking through action cameras. So I just said screw it and got a really high end GoPro Hero 8 Black. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm filming on the Hero 8 right now. So guys, funny story, I actually already filmed a video about testing the GoPro, but the SD card, I lost the SD card. And what happened was I tried to put it into the SD card slot, but I accidentally put it in an area where it's like smushed in between the SD card slot and the battery. And when I took the battery out, it went flying out and I have no idea where the SD card is. Somewhere in like a long grass area, so yeah, bye bye SD card. Sad not only because I had a bunch of footage like five foot drops and 11 stair hug to flats and stuff, but also that was my only 64 gigabyte SD card. So now I have to film on 2.7k if I want to get a good video. Although I actually do have the 11 stair hug to flat on my phone, so I'll play that right here. All right, so we got this mini slope style course. Starts out with a roll and I just went down. It's not really a jump, I don't know what I was doing there. Comes up with this, with this double, that's kind of a step up, but not really. A little mini kicker. Come on here. Step down, hug the flat. And big old tabletop step down. So I got this dish strap right here and I can put it on the down tube and use it as like a down tube mount. And I slide against the water bottle cage, it's really snug. You can see my shocks, you can see my front tire. And on the last one, I'm gonna send it and boost it as high as I can, do a tire turn, so it'll look really cool. So guys, this course right here is honestly like a mini slope style course. So guys, how much of a difference does Hyper Smooth actually make? I actually kind of want to find out. So I'm gonna do the whole, slide for, uh, the whole slope style course. First with Hyper Smooth off, then Hyper Smooth on. All right, going in. I just turned hyper smooth on. So this video right here was actually filmed on Boost. It was supposed to be smoother than hyper smooth, so we'll see.
right, guys, so looking back at the footage, Boost is for sure more smooth. So maybe if I were at like a bike park or something where it was really shaky, I might do it, but still, it gives it an insane amount of GoPro effect. I, I would be sending it and it would look like I jumped off a curb. It's a lot of GoPro effect, but when you do normal chest mount, you can actually see what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how high I'm actually jumping. All right, so this is a little bit sketchy. We got this thing set up right here and I can go up on that thing and then just sand it off this. Uh, oh, I think I could do it. Whoa. So guys, I've updated the slope style course and I'll explain the features as I ride them. Coming up first right here is a little roller, not as good as the other one. Yeah, this one you actually have to turn in order to go, in order to uh, get onto the track. Tabletop step down. Curved ramp. Mini kicker. And then the double. And then optional boot garden. Pretty fun. Alright. I'm gonna try and ride it slow. Boost that thing really high. That was actually really fun. Alright, I'm going to attempt this skinny right here. Oh, oh, oh this backpack was there. Oh. Oh, nah, this, this skin is kind of hard. So much stuff on it. All right, I got the straight thing behind me now. And I'm gonna be right in front of steering, so it's gonna look really cool. All right, going in. Whoa, I sent it there. Alright guys, so now we're going to film some third person shot. Alright. I'm going to go around the first shot this time, so that way I can just get a lot of speed for this one. Whoa, that was sketchy. Okay guys, so we're here at the local park. There's a lot of kids screaming, but we can still ride mountain bikes. So we're gonna send off the hill a bit. Go off that drop, that drop, some other drops. It's gonna be really fun. Okay hey guys, so this is the stair set that I cleared and we're gonna try and clear it again. First I'm gonna warm up by not clearing it fully and just doing some ju big jumps on it but not landing flat because I need to warm up since it really hurts my wrists and ankles.
guys, it's drop even bigger than the stair drop at the uh, skate park. The skate park is so crowded right now. So sadly, we can't do that today. Maybe later if the skate park clears up. All right, I'm not gonna clear it this time, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump down without clearing it, like a normal little jump. Except it's not gonna be a little jump, but it's gonna be a big jump. All right, watch out, Siri, going in. I'm not clearing it this time. Yeah, there's a little bowl down the stairs. All right, going in. So guys, my shifter came loose and then it fell off and there's absolutely no reason why it did that. And I tried to put the screw back in and I finally got it in, but it, I can't tighten it all the way. So the most I can tighten it is so loose to the point where as soon as you go over a bump, like not even a big bump, just a tiny bump, it falls right back off again. And the worst part is I just got this new shifter, so it sucks. Guys, I'm starting to think that bike shop I got it from might not be that good. Because when I bought the Javela too, they, sa they said that since they were, that since my Javela that came on the bike was faulty, they were going to give me a really good discount on it. They're like, yeah, normally this thing is $100 and we'll give it to you for $60. I looked it up online and it's $60 normally. So I don't think I'm going to go to that bike shop again. All right. Going in. I don't know if I'm gonna clear it, depends on how I'm feeling. Probably gonna clear it, but I don't know. Maybe come close to clearing it. Something like that. Ah, I gotta try that again. In this gear, you gotta get more speed when you go down the stairs because you can't accelerate very fast. Oh, I'll try that again. This time I'm gonna try and get more speed. Okay, going in. Never mind, there's a person using the stairs right now. All right, let's try this again. I, mean, I say should, because I don't know for sure. Ah, no, I don't think I can clear it in this gear. All right, going down here. Well, actually, I just got an idea. All right, I'm gonna attempt this chest mounted first, then I'm gonna do some tripod, get some third person action in there. Oh, right into the bush, but it worked. Guys, Stuart's chain snapped. Both of us are having Drive chain related problems today. He started out single speed, now he's going full push bike mode. Right, I'm gonna have a go on Stuart's push bike and see if he's gonna have a go on my bike. All right, so he's going now. All right, there's a guy who's having to go on my bike. He's gonna try and clear it, go flat. Oh, so close. All right, he just barely hit the last step this time. He's gonna try and clear it again. Or try and clear it this time. Hey! So the reason why I wasn't clearing the stair set is because it's hard to accelerate fast in this gear. Oh, Hardest part is getting on to the little thing. 
I will want to do it, but I'd probably fall into the valley if I did that. <laughs> that was fun. Alright, gotta get going. And if you're wondering why I haven't jumped down these stairs ever, because there's a big wall at the end. There we go. Also, you might see more Keitano or single track park videos coming up because um, we found another way to get there that uh, is actually really easy and not very sketchy or dangerous or anything. So more Keitano videos will probably be coming up. Oh, the skate park's very crowded right now. According to my estimations, there's about 7 billion people here. So what do I think of it? It's really good. It works really good. It's really smooth. I mean, I don't have any complaints about it. It's really nice. The only problem I can think of right now with it is that it is really easy to put the SD card in between the battery and the GoPro. And you know that normally would be a problem. It's hard to tell until it's already in there. So that's one problem. Because then when you take the battery out to get it out, the SD card goes flying. It's probably lost on a footage I filmed before. But still, it's really nice, so yeah, it's probably good. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. And catch you in the video, watch it out, over here.